journey to the NBA, it was, you know, it wasn't as hard as people thought it was. I mean, you know, sitting out, not playing, it was, that was probably kind of hard, but, you know, just getting it in every day with my trainers and, you know, just getting better and better each day. Uh, I felt great, you know. Uh, it was like amazing, like I still got to be what I wanted to do in my life, you know, and it felt good. My whole family was there and that made my mom really proud. I started playing in like ninth grade, so I was probably like, what, 15, 14 maybe? And when I just started getting more into it, it was just like, the game just started coming to me. You know, I started playing every day, getting better and I just fell in love with it. Me and Anthony Davis got the same trainer, so, you know, that was kind of easy for us, for me to get in contact with him, you know, then one day he wanted to bring me in and come work me out. We did that, and the tip he gave me was just like run the floor, you know. Most big men, they don't like running as much, you know. If you're the first man down the court, you can get the ball easier if you need it, you know. It really was important playing with Coach Fitz. I mean, he helps us out a lot. Like, he teaches us the ins and outs of the game, you know, how to be successful with it, you know, and he did giving us peace of mind. <laughs> New York City is it's amazing out here. I mean, you know, it's way bigger than New Orleans and Pensacola way bigger than it. It was amazing, actually, just being up here, you know, got a different perspective on everything. <laughs> Well, we read that you're a big fan of, of uh, Disney, Frozen, and, and, and oh yeah, well I watch that. Like that I, that's like what I watch on TV. I got it on my phone too, you know. So we on airplane, I can just put the thing out there and just watch it, you know. Before we go, can we get a couple of lines from Let It Go? <laughs> Not today. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs>